Hey, everyone, and welcome to Chef AJ Live. I'm your host, Chef AJ, and this is where I introduce you to amazing people like you who are doing great things in the world that I think you should know about. Well, back by popular demand, we have a young lady who is celebrating her birthday today on Chef AJ Live. And for the last three years, she has come on for her 70th, her seven, well, was it 70, 71, and 72? This might be her third or fourth. It was 70, 71, 72. Now it's 73, four years. Oh my God. The fourth, this is her fourth time on the show. We're going to keep doing this till she's at least a hundred. So she's <laughs> is Tuesday, June 6th. It's her birthday. And in honor of her birthday, she likes to spend it with us making some healthy and delicious recipes. Please welcome and wish a very happy birthday to Elizabeth Manser. It's so nice to see you for your Thank once a year you spot. So much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, I am here. Um, I cannot see myself for some reason, but it's okay. I'm a little small, little thing. Can we put it a little bigger so I can see? Okay. I can see you perfectly. So, oh, okay. Alrighty, so I am so happy today to be here and um, to celebrate my 73rd birthday, the fourth year on Chef AJ. What an honor. I'm just so happy and feeling great. Um, and also, uh, <laughs> this year has been, I'm still alive. See, uh, when we get older, we think like every year we have to wait for the year. This is when you get older. It's every month counts. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, don't worry. You know, I've had 100-year-olds on this show, so you've got a ways to oh, go. I know. I saw him. It was amazing. Amazing. I hope I'll be 100 on your show, so I would love that. So, um, and I am really, you know, the thing that I love about what's going on is that I have been taking care of myself for quite some time and it shows and it feels good so um <laughs> the the thing that happened to me right now at 73 is the launching of my ebook finally <laughs> yay what's it called <laughs> it's called the vegan um the vegan uh kitchen um, um come on Elizabeth the vegan kitchen companion it's right, right. here <laughs> So I, I made a copy of it just in case, and it has beautiful pictures, and it's international food. It's from all over the world. We chose a few of them, and I have a wonderful uh, uh, lady called Lo Cornell. Um, unfortunately, she couldn't be here today, but um, she, her, she is amazing. I call her my daughter. She's like only 31, <laughs> and we connected really, really good together. So she has been... Um, the right hand for me to do this book because I told her about it. We met two years ago and we were doing some business together and we decided to do cooking classes, which I've been doing for many years. And so with the COVID, everything shut off. So we didn't do it. And so we started doing it together and we have a, a small group uh, once a month. I do cooking classes. And um, so we connected and we both love what we're doing. And <laughs> She's a San Diego, my daughter in San Diego, because she's in, actually from um, Chicago and her mom in Chicago. So she has mom here and mom over there. <laughs> Just imagine. But to make the whole story short, we really put that together. And she's so savvy in everything. And we're happy to announce it today as well. It's only $12.99. And you can go and, on my uh, link and check it out. See what you think. So, well, we definitely have that in the show notes if people want to check it out. Tell us a little bit about the recipes in the ebook. The recipes in the ebook are international, as I said. And here's our lovely picture together, how we started it. Um, we did we did uh, a picnic, uh, big vegan picnic uh, in San Diego last year. So if you see the international one, we have from Mexico, from Middle East, from France, from Peru. I mean, we have so many different ones. And this is this is really, really amazing. It's called um, Eggs Benedict. Of course, there's no eggs. <laughs> when we used it in the um, cooking classes and everybody really loved it. So we have a lot of um, nice um, recipes with pictures. We took pictures as well. So, and this is our first edition. We're learning still, you know, around this ebook thing. So next year will be about, um, I think I will, I'd like to do uh, spices 
uh, how to combine them with food and from all over the world too. So here we are. Anyway, today I'm going to be using one of them, which is called Muhammara, which is exotic, um, you know, uh, um, dip, but it could be used in so many other dishes as well. I'll show you how. So I'm, I'm not seeing myself good, but here I am. This is what we're going to be using today. And I have, I have roasted, um, I don't know if you can see good. No, we can see perfectly. Don't worry. Okay, you, you yeah, yourself. I can see myself. That's all. Um, I use, uh, I roasted the, the bell pepper, red bell pepper in the oven and they smell amazing. They're oozing of really lovely. Look at that. I mean, they look so good. Um, so I like to use fresh, but if you do not want any anything to do, you know, it takes time to, to roast them. Here you go. You have another a lovely organic in water from Trader Joe's. Thank you, Trader Joe's. <laughs> and this is a um, organic whole roasted red pepper. So you can use that as well. So, well, I'm going to do the one I made, the fresh one. So we're going to um, use also walnut, which is omega-3. Um, and the walnut is going to bind them together really good and taste amazing. A garlic, I love garlic. There's two of them here, but you can use the coals for one. You can use as many as you want, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> and then lemon juice. And then we have chili pepper to make it a little spicy. And the main thing also in the spice, which is Middle Eastern, is cumin. But the cumin is not powder. It's already roasted. It's a, a whole, um, you just have to have your whole thing, okay? You sprinkle on the top of it at the end, and then you add it to your, to the um, recipe. So, and then we have a little bit of uh, uh, breadcrumbs, but I did not want to put breadcrumbs. I made my own from crackers, <laughs> rice crackers. Because a lot of people are really um, gluten free. They, they, they cannot have bread. And I don't like bread anyway. You can make your own. And the best way is to put it in a bag and close it and just hammer it down until you get the consistency you want, which is like that. So this is the, cr the crump that we're going to bind them to. It's only a small amount you put in anyway. So, and if you don't want any of that, you can put Oats. <laughs> Oats are always okay with everything, right? So, um, have the recipe here. We're going to put three red bell peppers. I don't know if you can see this coming closer. Yeah. Yeah. No, we see you. We okay. see you perfectly. Okay. Don't even. Well, I want to make that. sure this is this is also visible. So, um, I am going to get a fork. and then I'm going to skin this really good don't leave the skin on it's not really pleasant to have them blended in but it's so easy to release all of it so um here you go so we're putting number one in there okay and then the rest of it do you have anything special planned for your special day yes <laughs> yes all my friends are coming and we're going to have uh, Lo um, Cornell that's helping me, she is making me a cake, a vegan cake, gluten-free, and I've had it before. It's amazing. And so they're all coming. <laughs> we're going to have some food, of course, a little bit of food, and then um, the cake. We're going to cut the cake. So she's a, it's a homemade cake. I don't buy cakes. I can make them any way I can, but she's making it for me. So how nice of her. Is it going to be chocolate? It's going to be, um, yeah, it has chocolate in it, but it's strawberry and um, uh, raspberry, I meant raspberry, uh, filling and raspberry cream. And she top, she's going to top it for with um, uh, raspberries on the top. So I am going to have that. There we go. So here's the second one. <laughs> It really uh, feels easy, but I just, I'm taking my time so I don't get all the flesh with it. So we don't want to do that, right? Here we go. 
Yeah. So any anyone who wants to make this, it guarantee you will like it. And if you haven't got, I'm sure you got the recipe for everyone, right? Um, yes. Everything you gave me is in the show notes. The link to get the book, the recipes. Good. How long have you been a healthy vegan? I have been eight years and um and going on. I would never eat anything that swims, walk, or have face. Period. So you came, you came to this a little bit later in life. Well, I have been vegetarian for very, very long, over 40 years. And um that that was a little different than being vegan. Uh, whole food, plant-based, exclusively vegan. <laughs> That's what I am. <laughs> I don't eat just uh, any vegan. I don't really. So yeah, I uh, I love it, and I started a um, a, a um, cooking classes. I went to Ruby. I took their class, the Ruby um, culinary classes. Did you enjoy that? Yeah, I did. I I got certified uh, by that, and I loved it. And so I started cooking classes after that. Yeah, and then, you know, life brings you to so many different things. I used to take all my group to um, vegan places, too, and I arrange all of that once a month, and all of this is really fun. It's just, when you get older, you really need to have something to um, to work with and live other than just doing nothing. <laughs> That's not me. I'm very active as well. So, okay, we put um, everything in here. Oops, I see a little bit of skin here. We don't want. So the second thing is we're going to have is half a cup of walnuts. Then the garlic. We're going to blend all of this together. And cumin. Love cumin. Who doesn't like cumin? It's so healthy for you. My sister. <laughs> oh, she doesn't. You know, I don't like cilantro. I yeah. understand her. She's. I think she's the only one that doesn't like cumin. Okay. Well, she. But most people, I think, probably do. Oh yeah, most of people do. That's true. And so I'm going to put a little bit of. It calls for. Uh, evil two table of breadcrumbs. Can you find it? Which I'm putting this. Because the consistency has to be really, you know, like homeless type thick. You don't want it really too uh, too thin. And so I'm going to put this um, pomegranate molasses that I really use. It's very Middle Eastern as well. And it, it calls for one tablespoon. Okay. And voila. So fast and easy and so yummy. I um, guarantee anybody who's going to try this recipe, they're going to love me for that. <laughs> it's not it's not hard to make and um, the results are amazing. What else do we haven't put? I did oh um red uh, chili pepper a little bit. Some people like it spicy. Absolutely. Yeah, so it's going to be a little noise here, but it's okay. You'll be sure. And I want to scoop it a little bit too. Uh, you, get, you get all that on the sides. Okay, let me try that one. Oh, yeah, it's coming along pretty good. Ooh, this smell, Chef AJ. Oh my God. Yeah, they get, they should have a smell Zamuni on Zoom, right? So you can smell everything too. <laughs> <laughs> smell a vision. Are you yeah. going to serve this to your guests that are coming later? Oh, yeah. Of course. Yep. I might make more even. Because I don't know. I think they're 
see me. There's few coming. But I don't know who will pop up. You live in San Diego. Do you know Tracy Childs, who's been on the show from Tracy's Real Foods? She has right. pop ups. Do you have, do you, do you know her? Oh yeah, yeah. She comes actually. I introduce her to my um uh com um where I live here, my community, and I introduce her to the HOA. I told them I want instead of chicken and all that stuff you do because you used to have the cooking classes with all that stuff. And I said, I have a very eligible uh, vegan who can um, talk about nutrition and healthy food for the community. Let's start that instead of having heavy butter and all that stuff. And guess what? She worked for with us for like, what, five, six years, every month, almost every month. And I, I was very happy. So by popular demand, we were going to get her back this year so i'm on the event committee in my community so um she's coming back yay nice have to yeah they love it everything was just they raved about everything they ate from what she made oh yeah i know her very well actually her and i are friends okay so it looks like in a couple of maybe 30 seconds and we'll be done Okay, here we go. Yep. So we're going to scoop all of these goodies here in the middle, and we're going to decorate it with some, see how fast and easy, it's not really that hard. I don't like to make things that super hard. It's you know, such a pretty color. Yes, it's a red, yeah, but that's why they call it Muhammara in Arabic means um, it means um, roasting, roasted. Some, you know, like in, you know, in English, if I wanted to translate it, it would be roasting. Yeah, it's a bell pepper, roasted bell pepper. Here we go. Okay, so now we're going to put this clean up. <laughs> If people want to get in touch with you, do you, where, where should I send them? Cause I, you know, well, I send you, I send you uh, some links. Yeah, yeah I know. I know, but it also has your phone number and address. And I don't know if you want that in the show notes. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. So, um, where, they where, can email me. Yeah. Email is okay. But email, it's okay to put your email. Perfect. Yes. My email is perfect. Fine. Anybody right. can get a hold of I, me. I will put that and I will add that to the show notes yeah. right now. Especially yeah. if it's a single man. <laughs> hey, well, Dr. John Scharfenberg's single. He's a, he's 99. Is that too old for you? I love him. He's so cute. Had, I I had, had lunch with him yesterday. He's my new BFF. <laughs> How cute. No, I really like him. He has that, that smile character. And his soul is just shine. I yeah. really like him very much. He's, yeah, he's, he's just really, smart. really very sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have a nickname for him. I call him Sharfy now. <laughs> hey, Sharfy. Yeah. You know, they're, 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 ple they're actually blessings. So what we're doing here, Chef AJ, is I'm decorating with, uh, guess what? Endives. Endives are amazing, beautiful, and um, nutritious and delicious. I don't know. Some people don't like them because they are... They're bitter, bitter. Or bitter for some people, yeah. Yeah, but not for me. I tolerate bitter so good. So this is for decoration, but you can dip it in as well. And trust me, this here, it, you can add it to rice. It will pick up the, the, the taste like a bland rice. You add it to it. You add it to, um, let's see, pasta and steamed vegetables. Oh, my God. It's really good. So it's versatile. You can do so much with it. You So you're just having the leaves for them to dip, or are you actually going to put it in each leaf as a presentation? It's a presentation, but you can actually do that. Yes, you can. You can use them. And and so also I have... You, uh, call, this an ex have you call this exotic homemade appetizer dip. That's correct. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, pomegranate they, molasses is something that the people can generally find at like an ethnic Middle East, store. anywhere Middle like, Eastern store. Yeah, yeah, Middle Eastern or even um or uh, you know Asian. I mean, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. Seriously. So we're going to have color. So yellow, uh, pepper, and it's good too to put on. And guess what? And also, um. Radishes are good too. I love radishes. So we're going to use those. Just cut them in half and then put them on next to that. Oh yeah, look at that. I love decorating, I really do. This is something I always loved since I was a kid. I know food presentation is fun. Yes, it's everything is you eat you eat with your eyes. When you see it, you want to eat. <laughs> Uh, my mom used to always tell me, Elizabeth, go decorate. The, the, we have guests. Go decorate it. <laughs> and I go, oh, that's nice. I love to do that. So here we go. I just want to show you. And now we're going to put a little bit of cumin on the top. A little bit. You know, and in Middle East, they use um, olive oil. Um, it is Mediterranean thing. And, you know, you can't tell them not to have it. So... In case anybody likes it, they can drizzle a little bit on the top. But here you go. Look at that. Ooh. So pretty. Why not just drizzle? If you're going to drizzle something, drizzle a little more pomegranate molasses on the top. Oh, yeah, you can do. Oh, oh, you know what? Um, not only that, but balsamic, balsamic vinegar. That would be great. That color, any that type of color, you can have that. Take a look. How nice. So, as I said, this is also... Um, you can use it on a lot of other stuff other than just a dip or a, you know, or an appetizer. So that's so, gorgeous. Yeah, it's beautiful. So here we go. We have this and then I can't cover it because, you know, I have stuff on it, but that can, can be covered. All right. So, so far, this is the first one. It's in the book as well. If anybody wants to get more international uh, uh, food that we put together, go for it because it is really, really good. You love it. How long does it last? A few days in the fridge? Oh yeah, this this will last pretty good uh, because you know it's all vegetables. There's no dairy or anything to worry about at all. Yeah, but I, as I said, you can buy this if you don't want. Oh, there it is. If you don't want to roast it, but the roasting, it just makes it roll, you know, different. Yeah, it gives it that little oomph. Yeah, it's extra, extra nice thing. Now I'm moving there. And then I'm going to use, I think I'll see it quickly. I am sorry, but I didn't put it out there. I was. You're going to make a that. dessert too, aren't you? Yeah, I am. I'm doing the second. The second one, actually, it's ready, but I'm going to make the, the, um, so this is the second one I'm making, the cup. It's really simple. It takes absolutely no time again. And those are really cute. So these are oat cups topped with creamy date caramel, right? Yes. That's what I'm going to make the, the date right now. But I need to put the, the cup, the thing on the top of it. It doesn't go here. I need a long, long one, and I put it here somewhere. Come on. Okay, about that. So, um, so okay. All right. I um. I'm not going to waste my time doing it, so I'm doing it in the small one. It's just, I, I have to clean the other one too, but I'm not. So this is the second one that um, that goes over the uh, the food processor for smaller things. And I have to get the, the top of it and I can't find it, but that's okay. So let's just move on. You know, when you get a lemon, you make a lemonade, right? <laughs> <laughs> Right now, I just don't know where the other one. I don't want to waste my time looking for it. So let's see if that works. I think it should. 
All right, so I soaked the dates. They have to be soaked and it's medjool dates. I like medjool dates for this particular recipe because it's it's smooth and it tastes amazing. I love it. And I'm going to, re, uh, you know, uh, take the um, liquid from it and not tossing it out. So we're going to use it. All right, so we'll pour it. Right now, I'm going to use the um, little, little bit of cinnamon. And guess what? I have that Madagascar wonderful uh, vanilla, pure vanilla powder. I do not use anything but powder right now. I love the powder. And then you have two cups of uh, oats. And then you add applesauce, half, uh, half a cup of applesauce which is uh, unsweetened from um, Trader Joe's. You can see that, yeah. Everybody can buy that, it's easy. It seems like everything for this recipe, you pretty much could get it. <laughs> they, should, they should hire me, right? <laughs> <laughs> they should. Oh yeah, I'll be the cook for them over there. They do have samples and stuff, you know. They do, they have that person there almost every day. I know, I see them. Unfortunately, they put a lot of junk there, but it's okay. <laughs> So, okay, we're going to put a little bit of cinnamon and it calls for, I think, two tablespoons. And, um, you know, I don't like to measure. I don't know why, but I do have a measure and measure and everything, but I'm just putting it because I've done it so many times. And when you do things so many times, what do you do? You don't measure anymore, right? Yeah, you don't. I, I don't usually even, yeah, I think you get a yeah. feel for it. Exactly. And then I'm putting tiny little bit of, they open that, um, date syrup in it, just a little bit. You don't need it really if you don't want to. I'm just wanting to make it delicious. So this is pure Iraqi. From Middle East, um, date syrup, and I'm sure you like date syrup, Chef AJ, that's premium one. It's really good. Mm. Um, okay, so now we're going to add what? <laughs> Just have to make sure that some, some of the brands that I found in the Middle Eastern stores actually have sugar. Yeah, no, this had no sugar. I would not buy it, Chef AJ. Yes. No, this is pure, no sugar, 100% date syrup from dates. That's it. <laughs> I would not fool around with sugar. You know me. I don't like sugar. Actually, some people say, where's your sugar? I said, I don't have any. Bring your own. <laughs> Let me see what I put the other one. It looks like this is not working well for me, but... Um, where did I put that? Oh, maybe it's here. Sometimes I put things in the fridge and I don't know where they go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's find out where it is to begin with. There yeah, it is. Okay, so we're going to blend that really good. And if you need to have a little bit of liquid to make it a little looser, you can use the water, I mean, the, um, the soap um dates water that you use so let's take this off do you ever use uh, there's my friend is middle eastern and she uses rose water a lot in her recipe oh, I do. Do you use oh that? my god it's yummy it's so good it opens your heart and makes you feel so good in the water you don't put too much but just a few drops a few drops you can do you can use it it's just lovely yes i do i do that too
you know, those oat cups, I, I have lots of ideas for those. You can fill them with lots of different things, I bet. Right. I'm sorry, did you say something? No, I was saying those oat cups, you know, there's a lot, they have lots of possibilities. I think there's a lot of things you can fill them oh, with. Oh, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Yeah, a lot. Okay, so that's for the little bit of water. It's a little bit, not water, but that little liquid that we used. Just a tiny to get moving better. It smells so good. <laughs> I wish I lived close to you, Chef AJ. You don't live too well. When I lived in LA, you didn't live too far. Okay, here we go. So let me show you how much you can do with these cups. They come out that way. The easiest way to do it is one big tablespoon and a half sometimes. And then um, when you put it in, you just go around like this and make a little, hook, you know, little depth in there. It's like a cup. Can you see that? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's beautiful. So, you could fill them with yeah. just about anything, jam even. Wow, you can do anything with them. I'll show you. You can do, you can put applesauce on the top, even though it has applesauce. Oh, did I tell you it has the um, pecan too? Chopped pecan? Mm. You know? The roasted chopped pecan. It's amazing. There it is. So let me show you how much you can do with these they can be actually breakfast like they are okay or they can they can be also dessert you know when somebody's coming fast to your home and you go what i'm going to do what i'm going to do well it takes no time to make them and then you can um the limit fill them with this yummy thing you just put a little bit around like that. Yeah, you can put jam, you can put strawberries, blueberries, which I'm going to show you one at a time. And then you put one whole pecan on the top of it. Okay. Then you can go with strawberries on the top. Exactly. And then if you'd like, if you'd like, don't use that very often, but when I have it, you know, it's a uh, coconut, coconut whip topping. Just a little bit. Oh my God, that's so fancy. Yeah, there you go. And then when you have actually any type of, uh, who's the other guy? Like this applesauce, any type of sauce you like, raspberry sauce, jam, whatever. You can put on the top of it too, just a little bit. And they have a lot of favor without doing anything to them. Seriously, you don't have to. But, um, so I'm going to finish them up and uh, show you what they look like. That could be your birthday cake. That could be my birthday cake, exactly. And I have a little tiny, uh, a candle on the top and I blow it, right? <laughs> wow, 73. I mean, let me tell you, I don't know where the time goes. There's another one. And you can put blueberries, you know, you can put raspberry, blueberries. What I know you like strawberries, Chef AJ, you do. I do. I do love strawberries. Yeah, strawberries are good in that in the season right now, pretty much. And so there we go. And then one more, and then we're done. I've never seen that coconut whipped cream in a can. Where do you get it and what are the ingredients? Oh my God. Uh you can get them from anywhere right now. You can get them from uh you don't know. I don't know what you have. You have Trader Joe's? No, they don't have it at Trader Joe's, unfortunately, but we have them here in um, uh, Sprouts, Whole Food. Oh, Whole Food has them. Yeah, Whole Food has them. 
So here we go. Look at that. In no time, we created a dessert. I really want you to look at that. It's uh, it's amazing. That's fast, and it tastes so yummy. Here, here is each one of them that look like. <laughs> look at that. It's pretty cheap. And you can put the, a mint, um, like uh, mint leaves around. If you want, you know, if you want that, it's refreshing. It looks good. So here you go. You got a dessert. This is not in the um, in the ebook because I make it so often. I thought, you know, I'll just make that an extra for that. So here you go. So we have that, and we have this yummy, yummy, yummy for my tummy. <laughs> God, that looks delicious. What an, I'm sorry you had to, I'm sorry you had to cook on your birthday. I know. <laughs> oh well, you know what? I'd rather do I, I love my kitchen. I'm here all the time trying to uh, make recipes and I fail. I have neighbors. I normally go and you know have them taste it and they like it and they go, oh maybe a little bit more sweetener. You know, I don't like sugar or anything. But everybody loves it here and I share my muffins with a lot of people in my neighborhood. I make amazing sweet potato muffins, no oil, sugar, or salt. And I make sure to tell them that. <laughs> I tell them, you know, tell me what you think. Oh, I love them. Well, so now, you know, you don't have to use oils, you know, oil, salt, or sugar at all. And it's healthy. So this is actually has a huge um, amount of, you know, benefits as well. Not only just, you know, dessert, you think of, there's no sugar, zero sugar. And then a um, little bit of nuts, very little, only tablespoon. And the oats are good. And the, um, what did I have? Oh, and I add uh, cinnamon. All of that are just so good for you. So you get tired on a Sunday, you don't want to make pancake or anything, just make these. <laughs> it will impress anybody, seriously. So happy birthday to me. Uh, and, happy birthday to you. And you know, I'm you Nelly73. So you have a private Facebook group that you have in the yes. show notes. People can join. What what happens in there? Okay. So I, like, for instance, I made these and um, I tried them a couple of times and I like what I did. I put them on. What I eat in the morning, sometimes I put like greens, lots of greens. And I make, put sweet potato next to it. And I put uh, strawberries and I put all kinds of things in one plate. And I tell them what I'm eating and I tell them exactly what it's in it. So I put a lot of recipe there too. Okay. And I have about 300. So I need more. Come on, join me. <laughs> but the ebook is also very good. They can get a lot of international, um, you know, recipes there with the, with the pictures. So I hope everybody will go in there and click that link it actually would try to do it on amazon it, it was really difficult to download it on amazon i'm not sure why but this is our first edition so we're working on it we're improving every time we're going to do one well congratulations that's Thank that's you. great i mean see it's never too late you become an author at 73 oh no way no way and i'm still will be going so <laughs> you never know next year what it will be so <laughs> Well, we, we hope to see you again next year. I mean, I, I, I assume I'm still going to be doing this show, but you just don't know. You never know, but I <laughs> wish. <laughs> I would love. Yeah, you I have a YouTube know. channel too. Yeah, AJ, let me tell you about you. Honestly, you are amazing um, uh, human being. You are a sweet and you, you, not only that, but you're so knowledgeable about things and you have a brain that will never forget anything. Every time I hear you saying, Oh, the name of this and this, and I go, how did she know so? It's so amazing. And you encouraging people so much and uh, your motivation, um, your, I mean, you encouraged me to start with the, you know, salt and oil and sugar free since 2020. And I have been religiously following that. So oh, thank <laughs> I you. you. I love you so much. You are amazing. Really. Well, thank you. And I wish you the happiest 73rd birthday, 73 more. Have fun, have fun, have fun with your friends today. You just guys, guys are just going to hang out and enjoy this food, huh? I will. I will. It's going to be fun. Uh, as I said, we're counting the months now as we get older. And um, 
my my um uh, my feet still on the ground. I haven't fly flying anywhere. I'm still here and I'm so grateful that I am still alive. Every morning I wake up and I thank God for for another day. Oh well thank you. You're just delightful. And thank you know, I wish you could see you you painted me a mandala and it's hanging right there on my Oh mind. really? Well, two yeah. of them, and it's purple and it's beautiful. I love mandalas. It's uh, it's all over my house. I wish I can just turn everywhere and then show you. Um, I love mandalas, and I'm starting something new now with uh, the stones. Unfortunately, they're heavy to send them to you, but I do stones now, mandala stones, and um, I, I pick them, and some of them I send them my garden. I like them in my garden. They all have mandala, and sometimes some of them say something on them too. Oh. Well, maybe that'll be the next thing you sell. Yes, maybe. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, Elizabeth. Thank you so much, Chef AJ. And um, yeah, have fun. And uh, I'd sing to you, but then I'd get a copyright strike because uh, oh, oh, yeah, oh, anytime goodness. you have music on the show, they go, you can't use that song. Yeah, I know. They're strict. Zoom is different. Very strict. I but I'm so happy everybody joined and uh, wish me happy birthday. I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Another year, another me. So. Right. And check page. out the book. Just and so if you want to if you want to do her a solid on her birthday, get the book linked below. And thank you all thank for watching. So yeah, thank you, Elizabeth. And thanks all of you for watching another episode of Chef AJ Live. Please come back in a few hours at 2 p.m. Pacific time for none other than our monthly Q&A called Straight Talk with Dr. Doug Lyle. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.